All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Direct Strike StarCraft II Weekly Brawling. Yes, I know I said that in reverse, but it is what it is. Today, we are going in with stockpiles for extra minerals at the start. We have combat drugs and stims as our bonus, and we get free merc units, which I call mineral batteries. So, it is what it is. I am going in as Hans and Horner, and we are going to see what kind of shenanigans we can pull off. If they go aircraft, Hans and Horner's... That means Vikings will rule the air. Wild missiles are absolutely insane. Alright, let's get everybody buffed up and we're going to get this match on the road. Now, as I was saying, we get marks, which are these bad boys right here. And then as we spawn these, we get extra minerals. So I call them free mineral batteries. Yes, they do help and everything, but I find them more effective to um, help combat. Um, I should say not combat, but help give you free resources. So it is what it is. All right, we're going to get our hell bats up. Let's get that down, and then I'm gonna put my mines more towards the rear. And you know what? This is a rocket launcher for any here. Well, that's kind of cool. I'll let him put his board thing in the front. We're gonna burn our units. We're gonna burn their units, I should say. And depending on what they spawn, we can transform these into Hellions. So. It all depends on what's going to be coming at us. I like Max in this early game. It does use quite a bit of minerals, but it does give us free minerals back in return. So it will pay for itself after about maybe the five minute mark. Because every time I spawn these, I'll get 35 minerals back. So you guys do the math. All right, what am I up against? I am up against, oh yeah, I'm definitely up against light units. Then these will become a problem for armor, but not too bad because we can still burn them out. We'll get a couple of um, Hellions down too. That'll help counter the range armor. Alright, Legionnaire, what's he going for? Zagara's going for a gas rush. Right, let's get a couple Hellions out. Can't get another hybrid just yet. We're gonna do that. We're gonna get tar bombs on these bad boys. That way we reduce their attack range and their attack speed. We're not gonna get the last two tech ship, we were gonna get the gas. And this will help versus the dragoons. There we go. As long as we beat the wave, that's all that matters. Alright, I need this last power up next. Alright, Phoenix is on the board, good. He might be able to take the bunker if he's good enough. Research complete. Got face high archons. That's going to become problematic. Now we are going to get both these. That way we get ignite damage and then we get um, increased attack speed when the Hellion dies. There we go. Burn that bunker, baby. Boom. Boom, baby, boom. A couple more. And we'll get weapons and armor. Alright, we get another mine. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright, he did a T3 rush. Now I know what he was doing. Now we're going to push into T2. 
and we're gonna get our last gas, our last gas until the 10-minute mark. That's the key here. You gotta kind of micromanage yourself. Hans and Horner's units are expensive, but they can pump out some serious damage. Now, Phoenixes are gonna become a problem. We're going to need our Vikings and our Ravens up to deal with the Phoenixes. I don't know why he's doing a Cyclone Rush, but it's going to be interesting to see how that works out for him. We have plenty of time to get units down, so I'm not too worried. Wait, not you. Weapons job. Order acknowledged. We can get our ravens up. Lock on support. I always like my ravens. Ravens are really cool because they get this nice little lock on bonus, which gives you extra damage. And if you get the multi-threaded, it'll let you target three of them at the same time versus one. We'll get Vikings now too, so we'll start dealing with those um, Phoenixes. Vikings will shred those things. Absolutely shred them. Don't need weapons, don't need armor, don't need any of that other lovely stuff. Oh, Corruptors will also help hunt. A ton versus those um, phoenixes. Well, that was a waste of my minds. We'll burn most of the protoss out, which is good. We're gonna have to learn to deal. We're gonna have to get the aircraft to deal with the aircraft, but we should be fine after this. Because we're gonna get the Vikings on the field now. And Vikings will do bad things to aircraft, as you will see in a second. Get two of them out. They ain't gonna be expecting double Vikings right off the back. Then we'll get the wild missiles, and then we'll get the shredder rounds. Now we will have air superiority. Bye bye, Phoenixes. Now, Immortals will hurt the Vikings when they land, though. No, that's the downside. ETA, what? Systems. There's the... Strike hard and fast. Burn it. ETA, Ready to blunder. We're just gonna keep pumping out the bikes. Oh, cool. I still got a couple on the field. Roly polies. We're gonna make those protos go pop. Let's get one weapon. Bye bye, Phoenixes. We need armor too. Fire! 
Mm, do I want to continue that, or do we want to put down a line of reapers? You know what? We need some reapers. Not enough minerals. Not enough energy. And with that, we're gonna get double reaper attack. Now that should add a bunch of little cluster mines, which should really fuck them up. We're gonna push T3 since we're already on their nexus. Yeah, sending wraiths versus vikings is not a very good idea. Now we're gonna get a couple more reapers. And then we're gonna start doing galleons. Do some long range support. That's a lot of T1 mercs. He does the same thing I do. I actually like the T1 mercs simply because um, they have a nice little ability to levitate their uni enemy units. Alright, we need to only make Widow Mines. Get the refinery. Understood. Now I should have assault drones. Nice. Widow mines. Whoa. Fuck up Protoss shields. got built. Oh, my gas got built. Okay. Definitely be able to get this next galleon up. I'm going to autocast that. get those two techs going to yep oh phoenix is gonna nuke the hell out of that no I'm nexus can I get another galleon down nope just missed it that's fine Bada boom, baby. Research complete. 
Now what? Eat napalm. Get some Coming through. Get a couple more frontline tanks. Oh, disruptors, nice. I don't think that Nexus is gonna last. That's gonna be a GG. GG, ladies and gentlemen. All right, if you like this, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. It really does help promote me, and I'll see you guys all at the next match. Take care.